I just like itch myself and I know that's what Facebook is going to show everybody, but hello. Thank you so much for joining in. I am Dory Joe with Prairie Scraps. And if you are watching this first part and don't see that red live button up over there, both places, um, then you are watching on the replay. So put hashtag replay for me. Hi, Debbie. Good to see you. Thanks for joining in. So Monday, 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 actually happy President's Day. It seems like a weird day to me. Hi, Larry. Is it Linda that's on? Just curious. Um, all right. So I need to put some things away here. This is how I keep my transfers nice and organized. I'm going to put this in here. Um, the large, larger ones. Actually, I have some smaller ones for my 8.5 by 11s. This one is as large as I get for the larger transfer because um the the bigger size the transfers kind of like break through so it's a mess my transfers come out the bottom because they break through the seam in the bottom and even here you can see it's coming through it's breaking the at top bottom edge so this is about as big as i get i should really tape that together because that's gonna that's gonna come undone but um, I like to put the 18 by 12s when I cut them in half. And if you saw me do this, uh, this one the other, the other day, it's called Mama Needs Coffee. And I did the Mama Needs Coffee with the color changing ink. Um, I like to cut them in half. So these two were together. It's an 18 by 12 transfer. Hi, Kimberly. Good to see you. Um, and then they fit into this really nicely and I can find them a little bit better than in my big pile old 12 by 18 so <laughs> the words especially those are the ones that i like to break up like that so thank you so much for joining in tonight i don't know what you guys did you guys have off today or did you have to work or what was your president's day like i'd love to hear tell me tell me were you off were you having to go to work the kids were off, but I still homeschooled. My kids, my girls were super excited about that. Actually, um, my 13-year-old did her own math and stuff, and then I did um, this together stuff with my high schooler. Yeah, worked. I know. Most of the world does work, right? <laughs> most of the world does really have to work these days. Oops, sorry. I have a special order I am working on this tonight. And so I just thought I'd talk and chat. I've already gotten a start on it because it's going to be a multi, um, multi part project. And so I'm trying to get them all done. This is our box frame, actually, which is not available anymore. Um, but you can get one that looks exactly the same, except you could change out the inner surface. And that one is called our out of the box frame. Hey, Stephanie, look what I have for you tonight. Um, this is a special order. So I've already started with the cowboy boots um, that came from our cowgirl boots transfer, which is only available this month. So if you would like to learn more information about how to get this transfer, if you love these boots, they are not going to be available at any other time but in February. So Go ahead and put club down below so you can find out more information about being in the club. But these are the boots so far. And no, I didn't smear the toe. That's like still I keep finding greens from Christmas <laughs> everywhere. So that was a piece of green. Um, but anyway, so we've got this down. This took a couple of layers. I put down a layer first um, with the black to do the bottom and the edges. And then I did um, the brown layer. And then and peeled it back and dried it. And then I went ahead and actually, no, I think I did the this the second. The, it's like a two part. If you want to get that, you could do the cowboy boots without it. But I did this um, little hexagon or diamond shaped pattern in there with camel in the middle. And then I went back over it in black to get the outline. And I even did a little bit of paint hand painting to get it on there because um, it wasn't sticking very well for me. 
So anyway, that's where we're at. And I've got the directions. I've got, you know, my inspiration piece for this out here. Um, the one thing I love about being a Chop Couture designer is that we have a great support network where when people, somebody shares, they'll share um, their projects with you and you get to, you can copy them or anyway, I saw this one. I saw it, thought it was so beautiful. I posted it and right away somebody wanted one made. So anyway, I just thought it was exciting um, so, and I'm thankful that we do have the network we have because I have like all the colors and everything. And so I'm going to try to put the flowers tonight on the top of this, um, cowboy boots, cowboy boots. So I did, oh, and I had to do these twice. So I did the big one first and then I did the second one, but only part of it up to the other boots. So it was a little, this is not... Oh, doctor's appointments. Oh, I'm surprised the doctors were open. That's interesting. Um, I, I am a little just trying to line. Oh, this she did this way down. I didn't even. I see. Good thing I ha I printed off the picture. <laughs> Good thing I did because um, I wanted to look at it while I did it. But she actually put it down more. So I'm I'm copying. I'm totally copying. I do not have the ability sometimes to come up with the right colors. So that's a good thing. I can often copy the company. I can copy, you know, other designers that give great ideas and tutorials and all that kind of stuff. So that feel comfortable doing that. So the colors we used, Napa, I've got, that one was a color of the month. And this, oh, this month's color of the month is already out. So if you ever see a color of the month that you really want, grab it right away. Do not wait. Do not wait. Okay. And then the other one is cherry, I think. Cherry and then deer diary. That's pomegranate. Deer diary. That one is kind of pretty. That was last month's color that we got exclusively when you purchased. Um, we're going to be having some changes going on with our club. So this is the very last month you could be involved in the club. So this month, if you sign up for club, you if this is your first time, you will get this cowboy boot club transfer. Plus, you will get three pace packets and you will get that club or that boot cutout. You saw me use that boot cutout before. Um, trying to see the other colors here. Okay, camel I've got out, bark, black. Napa, Dear Diary, Cherry, oh, Storm, and Moss. Where is Storm? That's interesting. I don't even, oh, Storm. Storm is gray. <laughs> I know where that is. Okay, that's not in the picture of the, so I need to find green. Moss. She said Moss. So that's the cool thing. I can totally match this and do exactly what she did. Well, at least close. It'll be close. It'll be all kind of relative. So we'll see how we do. That's blues. Those are blues. Okay. You're looking for moss. Got it. Moss. Beautiful color. Hi, Phyllis. Good to see you. Thanks for joining in. Um, so anyway, that's club and it concludes shipping $21.99 here in the United States. There is a Canadian price. Um, it includes shipping. Let me see. I'm trying to make it pretty exact. Maybe we'll ship this a little bit. I want to get that. There. So this, I mean, this is really many parts. I've seen somebody do one of our books with the flowers in the top. Very beautiful. You get so many ideas. So I'm going to be doing this little by little today. I'm not going to be doing everything all at once. I'm just going to try to see how we can do. I'm thinking this part is in the Napa color. Thankfully, I have the Napa. Some of these, some of these are um, color of the month colors. So 
Napa is one of the past color of the months. So I'm going to do Napa right here. And I'm going to be careful to just go right up to the boot, not too far over. <laughs> That's what we're, we're shooting for here. I'm trying to see. Okay. I actually think she has a swipe over here too. So I'm going to just take kind of a swipe over there of this. These are kind of hard to see. They're, you could do them all one color. You don't have to have this. I would say this is more of an advanced chalking um, project that I'm doing because it's so many um, parts to it. So we're just going to Lift this back. Isn't that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors? Okay, that's the Napa. Hi, Maria. Good to see you. Just going to peel that back and let that dry a little bit in between. No need to rush on this. So, yeah, we did the high school, high school homeschool today. High school homeschool. And then the middle schooler, she did her math and her handwriting and bur, you know, um, grammar. <laughs> say verbs. <laughs> uh, hello, hello. Thank you for coming on in. Make sure you say hello. That helps me out. Just drying this up in between layers. Just want to take our time and get the layers in there. We're going to do some coloring in too. trying to make it look natural. I did have to kind of paint that one in because this little tongue right there, it did, I didn't get it in there. And then by the time I figured out I hadn't done it, it was sort of a mess. So, whoops, got my finger into that. All right, we are gonna do the leaves right here. And I... I am actually going to do this whole flower because it looks to me like we can come back and color it in with the Dear Diary. The Dear Diary is kind of a, a light, looks like everything we did here in green. This is where do you guys ever do that when you're cutting, like <laughs> put your, you know, move your mouth or your tongue along with yourself doing that? I, I always feel like I'm doing that in these, like I'm moving my mouth <laughs> while I'm painting. Hi, Amber. Good to see you. We're working on a, our little greens here. Maybe I can get this one right here. And yeah, I think this one is completely green too, just as an outline. There, okay, I'm gonna stop there. There's plenty more green there to do. So this one is moss. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, pretty, pretty, pretty. You guys have watched me enough, you know that I'm not usually this fussy, <laughs> but I can copy some. This is like paint by number almost, like figuring out what somebody else did. I printed it off on my printer, printed the picture off, and then I she put up what color she used um, and some of the tricks she did. So that's what I'm doing is I'm just kind of going through and trying to do my best to copy. So it'll be a little bit different, but I think... I think it'll be good. I did wax this whole entire bit board before I started. So just look in here. Now I think this one is done. I'm going to get the greens. I'm going to keep hitting up the greens here. There's not really probably, there's really no right and wrong. I'm just, because I have an order, I want to try to match it as best I can. So 
that is what I'm doing right here is just doing the best I can to match it up. Okay. And then this over here, greens. Actually, it looks like, oh, I'm trying here. I don't know. I really like this moss color. It's a beautiful color. Okay. I'm trying to get the greens around this. And then here, the stem. It's kind of like does the stem. And then look at this one up here. That one's for sure greens. Just keep moving around and doing all the greens first, I guess. For now, anyway. There's one green right there. And right there. Oh, yeah. Little leaf there. Okay. All right. Peel that back. See how we did. Now, I peel it back to let it dry in between because I don't want it to, like, stick to the transfer. These are reusable transfers. You can use them over and over like up to 12 times. And this is like my fourth time using it because I did my original, no, third time, I guess. I did one one cowboy boot on my, no, I did two on the first one. So this is the fourth boot, third and fourth boots I've made with my transfer. But you could go over this whole thing with the same color if you want. It's going to be totally fine. I'm going to do a little water coloring here on it. Okay. Oh, journal. That's the one. I need to find one more color, I think. Oh, oh, oh. One more color. Purple. Thought I had seen. There it is. This was another one of those that came in that set. Ooh, I see where that went. I do see. I see, says the blind man. Okay, I think these flowers in the middle are going to be, because the outline comes out in the flower, so I'm going to just do this tulip at the top in this, and then we'll watercolor on the inside of it. I'm just taking a tool and going over the um, and it's okay if we don't, you know, get it absolutely perfect. It's going to be okay. It's totally going to be okay. I may be talking to myself. I don't know. <laughs> okay. This is like trying to find, it's like a where's Waldo picture. Where's, where's the flower I'm coloring in? And also... I want to be sure not to go over the boot too much. So that's the other other thing I'm going to do here is, okay, I actually think all of these flowers here are over, done over in this Napa is the color. Hmm. I maybe messed that up. I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing my best. Okay. And what else? Oh, I do see. Okay. I think. Close. Close, close, close. Okay, that is an app. So not much. Oh, the, I guess it was kind of exciting. We started working on. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, you guys. Isn't that so pretty? I hope you can see that. Let me show you that. I'm sorry it's upside down, but I don't. Isn't that pretty? I hope you can see that. There it is. Isn't that beautiful? 
just very fine lines, but still just beautiful detail on those flowers. All right. <clears throat> Trying to decide. This one out here, I think, is going to be purple. And then she did this one purple and this one purple. So I'm going to, the that is journal. I should mark this because it is not marked. <laughs> this was a freebie last month. So it's nice to get a full jar. And it's Am I going with this? Oops. Got to get it down with no bubbles. That's not good to have bubbles. I'm put the purple out here. And then I said purple up here. I'm going to go over my green with the purple. I think it'll be okay because we're kind of, and I, but I just want just a tad of it here because we want to, I'm going to do the purple over here. I want to have that purple kind of spread in. And then I have to decide what that color is. Um, <clears throat> what color? All right. I'm going to peel that back. Ooh, those are pretty. Even with going over, isn't that beautiful? Even going over the spots where I did green, it's totally working. <clears throat> so if you ever have trouble getting the, you know, colors down on things. I'm thinking the rest of it is done. Oops, I maybe should dry that up a little. Um, I think the rest of the colors are done in the... In the Dear Diary. So I'm going to do that. And you can see these flowers are definitely like just the outline. So it really lends, if you did this on either our chalk suede paper or even oh, I think a little bit more artsy would be to do it on watercolor paper. That would be, oops, not that one. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. Let's see. Now I'm going to come back with the diary. It's the lightest color, so I kind of held that off till the end. Oh, I do see a little bit of green here I need to get um, first. We're going to do that right away. And I'm going to go up to, there we go. Any more green? Just go up to the boot where I wanted it to start and go out from there. That's what I did. Hi, Sandy. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining in. Make sure you do all the things. And it's helped me a ton. This is my small business, just a little crafting business. I have craft supplies and finished goods. If you ever see something you like, you're more than welcome to let me know and be happy to either sell it to you or try to do something similar. Okay, I'm getting confused. That one, those are all done. This one. Okay, and this one up here, I'm going to do it over the green. It's going to make it darker, but it's totally fine. Okay, I think that's it. I think we got it all. All right. Pretty good. And this has a couple extra flowers that you can add in. Personally, if you've, again, if you've watched me at all, you know that I struggle like making flowers. So if you're good at it, uh, kudos to you. Okay. There we are. Aren't those gorgeous? I'm pretty excited about that. Okay. Now I'm going to come back with a brush and water and kind of watercolor in there. <clears throat> and the colors we need to watercolor with are the Dear Diary. And then I think there's some red in there. So that's what we're going to use. 
I'm just going <clears> to, <throat> maybe even some Napa. I'm not sure. It looks to me, like she said she used the cherry. Looks to me like I had a better brush. I'm going to put some in here. I like to just put the water right into my chalk paste lids like that. And then I use that. <clears throat> It'll reignite because <laughs> these are water based. So it'll reignite what I've got. Okay. I think this just was okay. Using the cherry. Ooh. Yep. Ooh. That one's not even sticking. I got too much wax there. <laughs> It's just kind of set in there. Yikers. I hope it'll soak in eventually. I got a stripe of wax right here, I think. I don't know if you could see that. It's kind of pooling. Let's see if I can grab some of that pink and get that in there. Yeah, the pink is going better. It's less water-based. I don't know. There it's going. Just kind of dabbing it in there. I maybe started at the wrong spot. Just trying to fill it in, make it look, give more depth. Obviously, it's going to have more depth in the outsides. There we go. Where the outlines are. Okay, I think. Hi, Pam. Oh, great. I'm glad you can watch it on replay. That's the great thing about it. If you if you don't catch one of my videos and you really want to, you know, you can always go back. That's what I love about, about um, the... <laughs> about Facebook and YouTube is you can watch it at your own leisure if you want. You don't have to. I'm just kind of pooling. It's got to, for whatever reason, it's kind of pooling up because of the um, water or the, I, I waxed this surface before I started. So kind of pulling up on me but it is from the tulip I can tell that it just like takes just a little bit to soak in so yeah this is the watercolor this definitely helps those flowers watercoloring those in there we go it definitely takes like a certain kind of amount of Paste versus water. If you put too much water over the wax, I wax the board because then if you have any little boo-boos or whatever, it won't make a mess. There it is. Finding the, it's a matter of finding the right consistency. Just be patient. The nice thing with water, what I'm realizing, I'm not a great water, I don't know if I would call myself a great watercolor artist, but I'm finding that it's very forgiving for those of us who are not. So don't be intimidated by this. Just give it a give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. It will be worth your while. I'm going to put a little bit right up in here. All right. That might be it for the... That actually does, it looks really pretty, doesn't it? I love it. Mine isn't going to look exactly, but I've got pretty, pretty close to the same, same idea. So hopefully, hopefully you like it. Thank you, Stephanie. I think it'll, I think it's turning out. I'm excited. I'm not always the greatest at this watercolor, so don't feel so intimidated. But like I said, you could do the whole thing in the same color. 
just it's kind of like um you know if you enjoy oops that's really got some red in that brush might have to i should have gone the other way maybe and gone pink first <laughs> gone with the i don't know if i've got enough All right, where am I headed? This one. Oh yeah. There we go. It's just like filling in the dots, right? Or filling in the lines, not the dots. It's like a paint by number without knowing exactly the numbers. So you just do your own version, right? Ooh, that looks really... Not that color. I wonder what color that is. I'm glad I checked this because it's not looking at all like it's very light compared to the picture. I was thinking this color was used everywhere else, but it's not. So I need to fill in some of this. A little bit like it'll come from your brush, but also sometimes if you kind of just get it wet and then brush it around, it'll kind of grab on to some of the paste that you put down too. And that's, you know, just makes it more realistic, I think. Ufta, that is. It's like I can't go in. anything in between. It's like darker or not at all. Just doing my best here. There we go. Okay. Any other pink? Oh, I do see some pinks over here. This one. Ooh, that was a good coloring, if I might say so myself. Ooh, and I do see the leaves are even colored in on this one. I'm going to take come back and do some leaves, too. Hi, Teresa. How are you? Take up some water. Can I get in here? This is kind of ending up being a mix between the lighter pink and that darker Napa color just kind of like a burgundy color. So it's kind of, it's really actually giving a really beautiful color in here. I'm thinking, do the same thing over here. Oops. This part right here. Kind of not taking it off, but just coloring in. And then it ends up kind of mixing in with that. that Nampa. Okay. And we have to decide, I guess this one had a little bit of, I'm making this up as I go. No, <laughs> I'm actually trying to repeat what somebody else did. Just get a little bit of, I don't know what she did there. Mine isn't as good. Okay. I'm going to. Give up on that one. Thank you, Amber. Yeah, here, I'll turn this around so you can take a look at what I've got so far. This has been, this, this is the second day of working on it. I worked on it last week one night and did just the boots and did three layers to do the boots. So I did a little bit of videoing. I probably should have videoed a little on this too, but not like, 
trying to decide what color. Maybe I'll just go lighter. I think I'm going to go on the Napa and I always, my sprayer, I spritz bottle. I just spritz right into the lid of the chalk paste and then see how it's got like kind of goobies there. And I, <laughs> goobies, you know, like leftovers in the lid. And then I try to get that water right into that and reactivate that. And that's what um, I try to pick up. It actually make, you know, I'm not even really dipping into it unless I don't have any in the lid. I, I did have one there. But you see how like you can kind of just find your place. And, you know, I'm not perfect at it. I don't honestly necessarily know what I'm doing, but maybe just a little, oh, I see a pink. Shoot. Yep, that wasn't enough. It's a little bit trial and error, just trying to get these. You want it to look natural. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it all wrong. I have a friend who's a real artist and she does chalk it to her in, you know, another designer. And I, she was watching me the other day and I'm like, no pressure whatsoever. I definitely am not good at. <clears throat> Whoops, those are not ending up. Consistent. I don't know. I'm not going to lie. Painting does make me a little bit more nervous. <laughs> but the cool thing is, is because I'm, I, it's pretty watered down. It is like giving it different textures wherever I'm going. So it is looking a little bit different everywhere I go. And I think that gives it depth, right? Tell me yes. Oofta. That was a lot right there. Kind of just mixing it in, trying to give it some different colors, I guess. I don't know, it's totally ending up a little bit different. Same colors, just different. I don't know. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Thank you. Maybe I should have had you this time, <laughs> Amber, to help me out. Help me. I'm falling. Okay. Now we're gonna go in and paint in this the um, sage. Put some water in my lid. Get my brush cleaned off. Try not to paint other things. That's always helpful. Ooh. Those reds and purples really stick in there, that's for sure. You could also do the flowers on like watercolor paper and then color it in and then place that separately so that you're sure of the consistency um, or sure it looks nice. You know, you can always go back and remove it. It's okay. Don't mind me while I think. Can you hear my wheels turning? <laughs> Oops. Okay. Just filling in these greens a little bit. So they're not so white. So they look like leaves and not white. And because we outlined them already, it just like kind of gives them a darker outline. This is watered down, so it's the same color, just 
lighter. A little bit of green there and I'm going on that one too because I think it should be green all right where else I don't know it's very pretty actually get this one over here what do you think I don't know that I... thank you Sherry I don't know that I can do much more you either like it or you don't. Oh, I do see. I see a flower. Okay, I think I've got the greens done. Such delicate work for sure. <clears throat> I was going to do this one right here. I'm trying to decide. I think it's... I don't know. I think it's this darker one. We're going to try it. The brush keeps disappearing. Thanks, Rhonda. Thank you so much. I, I'm not going to lie. It's not the, this is not like what I normally do, but it's kind of like therapeutic. Like, do you guys find crafting to be therapeutic? It's kind of nice. I don't know what that one's supposed to be. It's kind of an interesting little flower there. Cute. Okay. I don't know. Have I made enough mess now? <laughs> I'm Picasso. Who did the flowers? I think it was Monet. I'm Monet. Monet. <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. I'm actually pretty pleased. I'm. I. I would say flowers are not my best feature as far as painting. But what do you guys think? It is therapeutic. <laughs> it's sort of like, you know, doing those co adult coloring books, but much more. Um, it, I feel like I'm accomplishing more. Like, because, you know, what do you do with coloring pages? This you can. <clears throat> it looks like a piece of artwork and it's already framed. So. All right. Oh, and I needed storm. Glad that popped out at me there. I didn't, I'm surprised I didn't see the, thank you, Maria and Rhonda. It is so, now the next part is another layer. So I've done, you know, several layers here of the flowers. Just if you've been watching me, let's see if I can find the wood pattern here. I don't think it's this one. It may be. You have these patterns. They come in an 18 by 18, but I do cut them out because then I can, again, slip it into this binder. This, Those were nature patterns, and I know it's a farmhouse one. So I might, I might be done for the night just because I'm not exactly sure where my... I know I have the wood. That would be pretty sad to get to this point. <laughs> and fail, <laughs> right? And not have the last, I know I have wood somewhere. Somewhere. All right. I am so wanting to get this done. I just, I mean, like I said, I did the other, the first part. Hold on a second. I'm going to go check if I, my stuff here. I did that. I don't think it's in here. I did that first part last week and just kind of let it go. Let it be. Because I didn't want to like overdo it. I 
that. Now I'm looking for the farmhouse patterns. And really, I'm super organized. Right? Oh, the cooking. I'm kind of, I may be off base because I'm looking through. My eight, eight and a half by 11s. 18 by 24, sorry. 18 by 24, so that's what I'm looking through. So hang out just a minute. Thanks for sticking around. Say hello. Check in. Tell me, is your craft area organized or not? I want to hear. Are you an organized crafter? Found it. See, I should have gone with my gut. It was with the other 18 by 18. But I don't, I don't know why I got off on a tangent and thought it was with the 18 by 24s. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't have those two, but this one, the she designed a life. I am copying somebody. <laughs> so this is what I'm copying. And we, I don't have those words. And when I was talking to the person that ordered this, I kind of gave her the other options. And we chose to do this um, life, live life in bloom, in full bloom, this one down here. And this is the life in full bloom. I'm just going to do the live life in full bloom, I think. I might have to wait for that. But um, this is the farmhouse four farmhouse pattern and I'm going to use this wood pattern down here for doing the background and I waited because I didn't want it to go behind the boots I was afraid that if I did it behind the boots it would look weird so we're gonna do the best we can here to line it up in I don't know. Again, this might be a several, several sitting time because I might have to like go wash this transfer before I move on to the next level. So move on to because I'm going to have to patch this in a couple of times. Please say that it's not smearing my flowers. That would be a very sad day. Right? Very sad day. So these are definitely very perfect for I want it to look straight is that too much to ask for <laughs> right I used to be organized oh but I'm out of control now I know I'm out of control every time I buy new stuff or new new products come out that's when I'm out of control <laughs> so, it's a thing I'm I, I'm not gonna lie I'm I try to organize one area but my mom was here visiting in September for a wedding, and it was kind of funny because she goes, we should do something. Let's do a project. Let's clean your airstream. Let's clean your craft area. I'm like, no. I know she meant well, and we did get through all my ribbons and got those put up like in a nice way, but I was, I'm not going to lie, I was feeling anxious. And she's like, why don't you move this out of here and this out of here? Um. I do not have howdy, but I think that howdy would be way too big for this, this one, because the howdy is pretty big. I don't know. When it came out, I just, it wasn't striking me, but then this came out and I was like, oh, now I need, you know, the boot came out and I was like, now I need that howdy. I'm just going to be okay if that doesn't go all the way to the end. We're going to be okay about that. Oh, oofta. Why? Oh, I've got some gooey stuff here. Okay. Sometimes, that, you know, if you leave it, I haven't used this in a while. It'll get, like, dry on the top edges. And you want it to be, like, the consistency of yogurt, your paste. So you could just add, I add distil ooh, distilled or purified water from the bottle so it doesn't get any impurities in there. Because, um, 
you know, if it's not clean water, it's isn't that funny? I find that weird to say because you know a lot of people just drink right out of their faucets. I guess. Do you guys drink water right out of the faucet? A specific craft and a general crafter. Oh, so I'm unorganized because I'm a general crafter. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I might be. I like to think of it as I just got lots of things on my mind and they're all spilling out everywhere. That's what I like to call it. I might be in my own little bubble though. So to maybe don't pop it for me. No, I, and I, as much as I try, I'm like, okay, I'm going to use up what I've got. And then I start doing that and then something new comes out and then I need it. So speaking of new coming out, besides this cowgirl boot is only going to be available to the end of the month. So if you want more information on that, put club down below. We're going to have a new customer perks plan program. And it's going to offer a special discount all the time on all orders for our special perks customers. So if you would like more information about that, put perks down below and I will help you. I will tell you all about it because it's kind of a new, it's super new. It's going to start March 1st. So you can't even get into the program until then. All right. I'll put this down. You can see it's coming up as I speak. And I kind of want to, kind of want to, I don't know, was that... Maybe peel as I go because I want to make sure I don't go over. I wonder if that's a Midwestern speak, kind of wanna. Where does that come from, do you think? Okay, I can get some in here. Just kind of lifting it up and there's really nothing there. Okay. Also trying to be cautious with my bubbles here. Okay. Yeah, I so you could have you could put this down first and then weirdly enough this whole area right by the flower ended up being nothing. Kind of silly. Um, all right. Kind of in the clear here at the bottom of the boot. At least I can see it. It's kind of way I started. This might, I, to match these up, so I'm going to have to lay this down a couple of times to get it down right. So I'll probably stop for the night after I do a time or two. Um, just so that I can make sure that I do it right. Because sometimes if I can't see through it, it's very difficult. So we went out today and started working on the float. If you saw the picture of my daughter, we're still working on trying to make giant, we're making giant candies for the float this year for royalty. And so that's the fun we had today since it was a, off school day for the public school kids, we decided to go ahead. It was a holiday. We went ahead and met and made some big ring pops and we made, started making some cupcakes, giant cupcakes. They're starting to come together. I'm just going to peel that. I don't want to go too far here. I guess I could go here. I'm just kind of going where the bottom of the boot is and then going away from it. And it's going to be difficult to match up, but at least, you know, I can go wash. And I'm not going to peel it all the way off. The nice thing about this is it can totally be not perfect. 
at least the background, because it is background, right? I'm actually very pleased with that. Yeah, that out of control part, <laughs> right? That out of control part, that's me. <laughs> I might just, I don't know. I do have a spot. I have a section here that I haven't used. I may try to do that over here just to fill it in on this side of the boot. Oops. Get it lined up. Get it together. Oops, a little more over. Because then I could do, you know, kind of brought it over to the other side. The same spot, maybe. I don't know. Trying. Trying to get it up the same place. There we go. All right. And then go out from the boot. That actually worked out really well. I'm actually impressed with myself. Um, going from the boot out. So the key is going to be kind of to make sure I... Don't go up on the side. Don't <laughs> go over the boot. Okay, how far? It is to where I see it is. Okay. I actually did pretty good going along that side, I think. I'm pretty impressed with myself there. Just kind of going up the skinny here. All right. The nice thing is there are some like nice little gaps so it doesn't like look awkward. Okay, so I will come back and do, oops, that was not smart. Put this upside down here. Um, I didn't take this out of the plastic, so now I have nothing to stick that to. Um, I'm going to wash this, and we're going to come back to this another time with the words um, I'm going to use on there. Live life in full bloom, which I think is very appropriate. Out of control once it became a joke. <laughs> what, were you, what were you in control of? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> Do tell me, what were you in control of? Because I maybe need to join that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love this. I There's a lot of crafts I like to do, and I can dabble in them. And I definitely have, like, ADHD of crafting. I struggle. Um, sticking to one thing, if you saw my Saturday video with the bunny, oh, my gosh, that was totally, like, sewing. I haven't done that in a long time. But let's face it, it, that's what keeps it exciting is that I don't have to do like the same thing over and over. I just, I don't think I could. I don't think I could. I'm not a, uh, um, I'm not a factory crafter. <laughs> let's just put it that way. I like to do something different. I like to take different things I find in, um, like in the thrift stores or at thrift sales or even just things that people would throw away and recreate them into something pretty for the household. Okay, so you can see the bottom. Oh my gosh, that really adds a lot to put that in the background, doesn't it? You can see, like, because of the imperfections of that shiplap it, on that transfer, it just gives it really a forgiving nature. So it does, it's okay if it doesn't go. And like I said, you could put that down first and then paint over the top, but I didn't want it under the boots. I wanted the boots to be standing out on the front of the wall. And um, it even looks like it. the other person that did this went underneath the flowers. Um, but I am not, and I may not be very good at getting those flowers in later, but I am for sure going to wash the transfer. Just hello, howdy, Melanie. <laughs> You're right in, right in theme with the, um, with our, our project today. Um, so I want to wash the transfer because I need to place it again side by side here. 
to get the rest of the upper part of the shiplap wall behind the boots. And so I'll just do my best to get some in here, just like I was doing, pulling it away, taking a look. And it just so happened that kind of this complicated section where the boot meets the flowers, it just, it worked out perfectly. And, and I'm telling you, I, I kind of nailed it there. So I, I don't always say that, but I'm excited about it. What do you guys think? I, flowers are not usually my thing, but I think they turned out pretty good. This is what we're going for. This is my example. Okay, so there's the example, and there's what we did live so far. And like I said, I still have to work on this top section, the ship lap, and then we're using different words over there. We're going to use um, live life to the fullest. So, but I need to go wash my transfers. I hope you all have a very blessed um, evening and keep on crafting.